Okay, so on to the next skip the skip the line reaction. This is Laureen McKinnett, the stolen child, and this was requested by um, Michael Rater as well. So thank you very much once again. I really appreciate uh, you supporting the channel. You have requested quite a few of them. So again, uh, I really do appreciate it. So uh, there is a message over here. So uh, Lorena is a singer, multi-instrumentalist and composer from Canada with Irish and Scottish roots. She mainly writes and performs music with Celtic and Middle Eastern influences. I like music with Celtic and Middle Eastern influences, either or, or both, doesn't really matter. I think it's absolutely beautiful. So, uh, The Stolen Child, never heard of this artist. This is the first time um, ever reacting to him. And for any of you who would like to uh, request a skip the line reaction, you can do that in the sphere, or you can just join the sphere for $2.70 a month, and you can just watch a whole bunch of additional content, uh, exclusive content that won't be put on YouTube. Uh, and that's daily and you can also request priority reactions those are completely free i can't tell you exactly when those will drop but i can tell you that they will eventually drop i will definitely drop them it's the only place i'm, do I'm taking reaction requests from i won't take them from youtube and i take them from any other platform it's the only place i take them from it's part of a it's part of a little privilege that uh, you guys have being subscribed to the to the sphere and also i will be having pure um priority request days where it's only priority requests like i'll have one day in a week where i'll drop five six seven priority requests from what you guys put on that list so that's still to come so anyway lorena mckinnett the stolen child let's see if we've got never seen this before let's go the irish poet w big eights was seen by many as a great inspiration of the resurgence of irish nationalism at the turn of the 20th century as he captured and recaptured the mythology and folklore of Ireland. So this is a magical piece called The Stolen Child. Let's go. I like Irish folks and stuff. Voices, wow, jeez. And there's something about it, like string instruments. I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is with me, but violins, guitars, harps, ukuleles. It doesn't matter if it's got a damn string, it does something to me. I don't know why. But I think less about the actual instrument itself here, although the harp is absolutely gorgeous, right? Her voice, man, that storytelling voice. Good lord, it, actually this kind of reminds me of Nightwish a little bit. Um, it, it really does, it's got that folksy, that folksy storytelling, that poetic storytelling, you know, that sort of olden day, sort of middle, midi, medieval feel to it, where it's like, gather around kids, let's uh, sit around the, the fire, and let me tell you a story of lands past, you know what I mean? It's just beautiful, but her voice though is so... So piercing, unbelievably beautiful, man. Wow. Let's go. No, 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 no. You gotta start from there. You gotta you gotta start from you gotta start from this guy take it a little bit more back. Right, okay, let's just let's just take it from the beginning. <laughs> let's just take it from the beginning. Of Irish nationalism at the turn of the oh, century. Wow, that is beautiful, man. As he captured and recaptured the mythology. That's what I love about folklore music around Ireland. the world. So this is a magical piece called The Stolen Child. She said got me right at the... Right as it started, her voice is unreal. And even the instruments... Hi. 
island of sleuth wood in the lake the lies underneath the island where flapping herons wake the drowsy water runs they weave here of furry thoughts full of berries and of reddest all and cherries come away you human child to the waters and the wild With a fairy hand in hand For the world's more full of weeping Than he can understand Where the wave of moonlight glosses The dim grey suns with light By far our farthest rosses I don't know why I can't, I can't control myself here. I don't know why. Her voice is so beautiful. I could actually, everything she's saying, I'm literally painting a picture. She, I could literally, that whole, this entire storytelling that she has of here, I can literally picture it. I'm picturing all of it. The drowsy rats in the, in the, in the, in the, in the wet vats or whatever that I, that I could literally just pick, you can, it's literally creating an image in my mind as she's speaking that is what artistry is meant to be man is literally while you watch it while you are engrossed in it right there's a level of inanimate like inanimate like you become so enamored by it where you're like jesus it's like this is just like in my mind this is happening this is painting a picture it's like i can see it i can see it i can i can i can i can literally see the poetry do you know what I mean Wow. Weaving old and dances, mingling hands and mingling glances, till the moon has taken flight, to and fro we leap, and chase the frothy bubbles, while the world is full of troubles, and is anxious in its setting that they're in over there i mean you know a piece like this you know you, you need you need the you know the 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 um the setting to match to match the piece and they really did a cracking job at that i mean i mean this ancient architecture right beautiful is going the sun and night he'll hear no more the lowing of the calves on the warm hillside of the cattle on the hope sing peace into his breast or see the brown boys bark round and round and the way she's painting the picture of home right the way she's painting the picture of um just the pride to be of that culture, of that community. Just the poetry over here, saying peace into his breast. But if you actually think about, the, if you think about the countryside and you think about how she's describing all that and then all the kettle on the hop, right? Sing peace into his breast. It's almost like he's at peace when he's at home. He's at peace when he's in this land. He's at peace um, um, 
in the countryside where he comes from like he's it's like this place whether it be you know they talk about ireland let's say you know it's it's very nostalgic do you know what i mean it's got such a sense of nostalgia here he'll hear no more the lowing of the calves on the warm hillside right the rolling hills of ireland right and then so and then she paints it she goes straight into the picture or the, and then the kettle on the hob brings peace into his breast right into his heart well it's it's amazing how she's painting that entire picture of just this normal humble uh, um, down-to-earth modest lifestyle in the countryside that is so beautiful that you're so attached to and so proud to be a part of right and she just paints that picture for you it's beautiful man Rest, I see the brown interpretation kind of got a bit tragic over there it kind of got like a little bit tragic over there it's like it's almost like she painted this beautiful picture of what once was but the world is full of weeping more than you'll ever understand it's almost like she ended it off as if this piece ended off with a tragedy it's like all that beauty is no more beautiful man this piece is this is probably my favorite my favorite um piece out of out of all of the reactions we've done so far um look there's been good ones but wow this one really took me the <sighs> this really took me you guys let me know what you think down below i love you all man please stay safe please healthy i'll catch you in the next one peace